Texas. Atlanta's mayor reinstating a citywide indoor mask mandate effective today in response to this spike in cases. Joe Hankey explains what exactly changes with this order and what doesn't. If you're inside your car or someone's home in the city of Atlanta, of course, the mandate does not apply. But if you are inside a public building or private business across the city, the city of Atlanta is once again requiring you to mask up. As you all know, the COVID numbers are going up new to the, the um, due in large part to the new variant. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms on Monday hinted at the return of a mask mandate and today she signed the mandate and announced Atlanta is back in the yellow zone, the third highest of four zones the city uses to track COVID-19. Bottoms order notes the CDC currently lists COVID transmission in Atlanta as high based on our positivity rate. The mask mandate requires a mask or cloth face covering over your nose and mouth when indoors, but there are exceptions. You are not required to wear a mask if you have a bona fide religious objection or medical reason, if you are eating or drinking, if you are alone or only with family members from the same household, if you are following law enforcement directions or your ID needs to be verified to buy alcohol, tobacco, prescription drugs or make a bank transaction. Masks also not required for children under 10 or if you can't put on or remove a mask without assistance or if it would prevent you from receiving personal services or stop you from performing your job. Unlike other large cities around the country, Bottom's latest order does not include any form of a vaccine mandate. It also does not direct businesses to change how they operate. Under the order, police can issue warnings to people not wearing masks, followed by a $25 fine and eventually $50 fines. Attorney Randy Kessler, though, previously told 11 Alive city mask mandate enforcement is unlikely. Truthfully speaking, what's the fine going to be? Who's going to enforce the fine? They're trying to control behavior. They're trying to make people wear masks. I don't think people that are going to break this law or not follow the executive order are going to end up in a lot of trouble.